Sometimes it doesn't matter. You could be going to the gym, you could be trying to eat better. You can still be jolted with a health emergency that can really change your life. So this happened to a man in Waldorf and now he's sharing a story with us. Evan Koslov joins us in the newsroom. Evan, I'm telling you, this guy should be thanking his guardian angels right now. Right, he is real lucky. Quite simply, Darren is still with us and that's amazing considering what happened. It's all thanks to bystanders stepping up when needed. Darren, nice oh man, you, I owe you my life, dude. This is an emotional moment between two men fittingly wearing red. But to tell the story, we need to take it back. I was technically dead, laying here on the floor. Darren Shope and his wife Tammy are here at the Waldorf Health and Fitness Center to explain the whole story. Tammy said it all started last Monday with a routine workout. He was doing fine. Um, Ten seconds later, I turned around and looked at him, and he was laying in the middle of the floor between two ellipticals. Darren had suffered a heart attack. No less, it was the Widowmaker, one of the most deadly kinds where time is everything. I heard, get the defibrillator. And so just like that, regular people jumped into action. Danielle Ventura works at the gym and grabbed the AED to help Darren before it was too late. Thank you so much. And that's where this man in red comes into play. His name is Daryl Barnett, and he was sitting in the sauna when Darren first collapsed. It turns out, he was an off-duty firefighter in the right place at the right time. It's quite amazing to see uh, this young man standing here. Um, everything kind of happened so fast. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have a husband. My kids wouldn't have a father. Grandkids wouldn't have a grandfather. These people will be my angels forever. And, and basically, if there's anything I can do for them, that's, that's the key. What was in my head was you have a duty to act, so you got a job to do. But I never come to the gym thinking that I'll have to do my job. What a nice story. So glad to see him on the mend. Above all else, Darren's message is simple. If you don't know where the AED is in your office, at the gym, or really anywhere else, go find it because it can literally save lives. Mike, Jan. Thank God for that good Samaritan. I know, I know. Absolutely. Thank God. And he was on it, too.